Okay, welcome back guys to cxcmatchtutor.com. It's another video again from cxcmatchtutor.com. That's cxcmatchtutor.com. So if you want to watch more videos, visit cxcmatchtutor.com. All the videos on this website are free. Okay. Now let me just um, erase this just to um, give myself the space here. Now in this video, we are looking at a past paper um, question for the most recent CXC CSEC um, math exam. Okay. And this is actually the May 2013 exam. Okay. And we're looking at past paper 2, question 4B. Okay, that's question 4B. Now, let's get straight into it. I said um, point A, which is um, negative 1 and 4, and point B has coordinates 3 and 2 are the endpoints of a line segment AB. Okay? And it asks us to determine 1. The gradient of AB. 2. Part 2. Um, the coordinates of the midpoint of AB. And part 3. The equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB. Okay? Now, let's get into um, part 1. And that word two marks now the gradient of a b now let us let us just um draw this line segment here there's a little sketch here so um so the point a right and the point b and we said that point a has coordinates negative one and 4 and we said that point B has coordinates 3 and 2 okay and part 1 we asked to find the gradient of AB now I'm hoping that you guys know the formula for the gradient of a line um, if not you can check out my video on um, cxcmatutor.com okay now in my video I believe I use the word slope okay but just remember the gradient is just uh, uh, another name for the word uh, for slope okay so in other words gradient gradient is equal to the slope okay same thing just different words okay so in the exam they could have asked you what is the the slope of the line that is the same thing as what is the gradient of the line okay now the formula the formula is now sometimes well most times we use m to represent the gradient or the slope and the formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 or you could say the rise over run okay and if you guys move on to calculus um, the notation that they will use is the change in y over the change in x okay now don't worry about this last notation here um, that's if you guys move on to Cape um, pure mathematics that's notation that we use for the slope okay so um, let's get into it now uh, y2 y2 will be this valley here this is your y2 which will be 2 okay minus y1 this is your y1 which will be 4 
over x2 will be this value 3 here this is your x2 so that's your 3 minus this is your x1 over here that will be a negative 1 so 3 minus minus 1 okay so that will be 2 minus 4 is negative 2 over 3 minus minus 1 will be 3 plus 1 okay because minus times a minus is plus okay um, so that will be negative 2 over 4 and you can reduce that to um, 1 over 2 so it'll be your slope therefore will be negative 1 over 2 okay so the answer answer for the very first part is equal to negative 1 over 2 that's your slope or your gradient okay now part 2 moving on to part 2 so the, the coordinates of the midpoint of a b the coordinates of the midpoint of a b now go back to my line segment here a b now the midpoint will be here okay think of cutting this line in half okay so this is a midpoint right down the middle okay but it will ask us to find the coordinates of the midpoint right here okay so there's a formula for that too as well okay so let me just erase on this side here just to give myself the space I mean it's a video so you guys can always pause the video just to get the the notes okay so the midpoint formula uh, let me just use probably um, C, uh, I don't know P for the midpoint okay um, so the formula is x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2 that's your midpoint formula so let's go and find x1 we said the x1 was negative 1 plus my x2 is 3 divided by 2 and my y1 we said that was 4 plus my y2 we said that it was 2 divided by 2 okay let's simplify this and what is negative 1 plus 3 that's um, 2 and 2 divided by 2 is just 1 okay and 4 plus 2 is 6 divided by 2 is 3 so the coordinates of the uh, the midpoint is x equal 1 and y equal 3 so this is your answer here answer equal to 1 and 3 okay that's your coordinates so that would be my coordinates for this middle point here okay right here let's call it point P now part 3 asks us to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB now what do we mean by perpendicular bisector okay there's actually that's actually two things in one there okay so let me erase this here let's give myself the space remember you guys can always pause the video okay to get the notes so perpendicular bisector now if I have two lines call this line 1 okay and I have another line call this line 2 okay now if I use those two lines and make them perpendicular what's going to happen is that they're going to form a right angle okay a 90 degrees angle they're going to form a right angle 
that's that's if the lines are perpendicular now if they are perpendicular bisector what is a bisector okay when we say bisector when we say when we say that we are bisecting something we're pretty much cutting the lines in two half okay so it just go right down the middle here okay line two just go right down the middle the middle of line one okay so that's what we pretty much mean by perpendicular bisector one it's perpendicular because it forms a right angle okay and bisector simply means that you cut the line in half so the line is pretty much going to the middle of the other line okay so knowing that information the whole term of um, perpendicular bisector now we can um, look at this um, information over here so let's call this line DE oh, DE so this is D and this is E okay now DE cuts the line AB um, by one forming a right angle because they are perpendicular and two it passes through this point one three because remember that point one three is the midpoint okay so this line DE it forms a right angle okay and it also passes through the point uh, one three because the point one three is the midpoint of AB okay and we said that bisector lines cut the line through the middle okay now with that information the equation of the bisector now we already find the slope of um, AB or the gradient of AB to be so AB okay where am I <laughs> AB AB has um slope to be negative one over two now what will be the slope of line d e okay if if line d e is perpendicular to a b okay we said that is the negative reciprocal in other words we take the slope here of AB and we flip it so it becomes 2 it becomes negative 2 then we change the sign okay so it now becomes um, 2 so the slope of DE is 2 in other words another way you can look at it is if you take the slope of a B which is negative a half and you multiply by the slope of D E which is 2 you must get negative 1 okay and we can see that that 2 cancel 2 2 cancel 2 and negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 okay so the slope of a B times the slope of a line that is perpendicular to a B must equal to negative one that's that's a way of checking your to see if you are getting the, the right slope for the uh, the perpendicular line okay so we say the letters the line that is perpendicular to um a b we call that um d e and we say that the slope is two okay and we also know that the line d e passes through the point passes through the point passes through the point 1 and 3 okay because it's a perpendicular bisector it's a bisector it passes through the middle point so we have two pieces of information now for DE we have the slope for DE and we know that it passes through the point uh, one and three okay 
So therefore, we can form an equation of DE by using what you call a point slow form or the slow point form of the um, equation. Okay? And remember, the slow point form says that if you have a point, for ex in this example, one tree, so is um is y minus the the y coordinate or the y value equal to the slope in this case is two times x minus the well okay I think I made a mistake here let me go back let me go back okay remember this is your y value here which is three. And this is your x value. This is your y value. And this is your x value. So the point slope form says that you um, you take the you take um, the y value from y it says y minus three is equal to the slope, which is two times x minus one okay and if you were to simplify this and you and and, and 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 make y the subject of this formula okay you could say okay doing y y is equal to 2x minus 2 i'm just expanding the bracket there plus 3 okay there was a minus 3 on the the left hand side I bring it over to the right hand side it becomes a plus 3 okay we can simplify this and get y is equal to 2x and minus 2 plus 3 is plus 1 okay and that will be your equation in um what they call y intercept form slope point intercept form Okay, so that's your equation, y equal to 2x plus 1. And that will work you, that will um, earn you 3 marks. Okay, so this question actually earned um, worth a total of 7 marks, okay? So that's it pretty much for this video. Um, if you guys have any comments, uh, you can leave a you can leave it at the bottom of this video or you can subscribe to this video remember it's good to subscribe to the video because when you subscribe to the video um, YouTube will send you an email notifying you whenever I upload a new video okay so that's it pretty much for this video again um, if you guys have any more comments or if you have any comments on this video you can um, leave it at the bottom of this video Okay, you can leave your comments at the bottom of this video. So that's it for this video. Okay then, thanks.